Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the very last online Sunday School of 2020. I hope that you have had a fabulous Christmas. I hope that things are going really well for you. I hope that you're healthy and that you um, are just feeling blessed. And I hope that 2021 is the best year ever for you. But I couldn't let this year end and let this Christmas season end without coming back and reading one last book. Now, many of you probably already have this book, and I hope that you pulled it out this Christmas season. Last year, when things were normal and we were able to have a Christmas Eve service for children, I gave away this book. It's one of my very favorites, and I wanna end out this book series reading to you. "'Twas the evening of Christmas, and it is written by a friend of mine, Glennis." Nellist and illustrated by Alina Silvanova. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. That's from Luke chapter two, verses 10 and 11. And the story goes like this. "'Twas the evening of Christmas, when all through the town, every inn was so crowded, no room could be found. Tired Mary and Joseph, who went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable floor." Thank goodness, said Mary, who tiptoed inside. The mice saw the donkey and scurried to hide. The rest of the creatures all cuddled up tight in hopes that they may have a calm, peaceful night. The pigeons were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of breadcrumbs danced round in their heads. The cows closed their eyes and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently, the lambs made no sound. The moon through the trees was starting to glow with the glimmer of light on the stable below when quite by surprise came a newborn babe's cry that woke all the animals that were sleeping nearby. Up jumped the cows and the oxen and sheep. Up popped the pigeons aroused from their sleep. They all came to gaze at the small baby boy and his mama and papa, they hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in the manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. Who do we know this baby is? It's not even just the same old baby, is it? It's Jesus. And out in the fields taking care of the sheep, some shepherds were getting ready to sleep when all of a sudden they heard such a fright as a whole choir of angels, they lit up the night. But the song of the angels, the words they, they said, soon let the men know they had nothing to dread. Dear shepherds, it's wonderful news that we bring. A savior is born. He is Jesus the King. They ran to the stable and peeked through the door and saw something never imagined before. There in a manger, a baby boy lay. No blankets, no pillow, his bed made of hay. And to that small stable came three splendid kings with gifts for the baby, all beautiful things. They jumped from their camels and knelt at his feet with frankincense, gold, and myrrh that smelled sweet. Look at those wise men. Now we know that the wise men didn't really come on the night that Jesus was born. But when we celebrate Jesus' birth, sometimes we throw them in the story so we don't forget. 
The stable was filled with a wonderful light, as stars above Bethlehem twinkled so bright. And high in the heavens, God whispered, my son, you'll bring hope to the world and love everyone. Then back to their slumbers, the animals curled, amazed at this babe who had entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. As Mary lay Jesus asleep in the hay, she thought about all that had happened that day. The mice heard her whisper as she tucked him tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all a good night. Boys and girls, I hope that you've had the best Christmas season ever, and I hope that this new year that we're about to celebrate is a blessing to you and your family. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for our safety and our health during this holiday season. And Lord, I just ask you to bless all of my HUMC kids' friends as we enter into this new year. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you soon.